Good morning, boys and girls. I thought today it would be kind of fun to make a windmill. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, I was hoping my fan would blow it so you could see it turn. I'll wait for the fan to come around one more time. Ugh. Well, my fan wasn't cooperating, so I used my breath. So, uh, I don't know, you may have seen these windmills. I bought them to decorate my car when we had the parade. That was a lot of fun. So I thought they were really cool and they're so nice to decorate in your garden, on your uh, veranda, on your balcony, um, and it just makes uh, the outdoors prettier. And it's fun to watch when it blows and you'll know when it's windy out when it's blowing very hard. So you are going to need a piece of paper, which we are gonna cut and make sure it's a perfect square. You are going to need uh, some crayons, pencil crayons, markers to decorate it. Uh, you are going to need one push pin. So a push pin, I guess get it closer so you can see, or a thumbtack. And I've got a thumbtack that's got a nice color on it. Whoops, they're usually a gold or a silver. So you can see there. And you're going to need some scissors an eraser, and a dowel, a wooden dowel. So you're gonna need something long and thin, not necessarily. So I found, or you can use a pencil for short. I found a nice long wooden stick that I had. Uh, you could, if you don't have long and round, if you've got long and skinny, that'll work. And I had a pencil. Oh, there we go, a pencil but you might need a longer one. Mrs. K only has a short one right now. So let's get started. So I found, let's put it down here so you can see what I'm doing. I found a fancy gold um, wrapping paper that I thought would be kind of cool. But you can uh, use construction paper, you can use uh, construction paper, Bristol board, just regular paper. And if you want, you can decorate two pieces of paper and glue them together so that you've got a pattern on each side. So because this pattern is gold, I thought it'd be kind of nice and fancy. I'm going to do a decoration on the other side. But first we need to make sure that I'm not going to end up cutting out my lovely decorated paper we need to make sure it's a perfect square. So this is my flat side and I'm going to, I have it flat down. I'm going to put my finger in one corner. I'm gonna pick up the other piece and I am going to carefully bring it down and make sure I line up my edges and get a perfect point. And that'll make sure, cause I thought this was a perfect square and I'm going to put a fold down the middle and you can see that I was just a little bit short of being a perfect square. So I need to trim this part off and then I have a perfect square windmill. So I'm just going to cut this bit off now because it needs to be square. There we go, just reach the edge. Perfect, whoopsie. And I dropped the extra piece, there we go. Put that over there. Okay, so now that we've cut our paper into a perfect square, we are going to decorate it. Uh, I haven't decided what kind of a pattern I wanna make yet. Hmm, this one's a tough one. I think I'll start off with maybe some heart shapes all the way around. And I always like kinda just going around making sure I got enough hearts everywhere. And you can do anything. You could even use one of the videos Mr. West um, uploaded and go on that site where the artist shows us different ways to make different pictures. I think that one's fun. And maybe I'll do some circles beside my heart. I'm using 
markers to make my colors nice and bright. Um, and it's just fun to slowly and carefully relaxing for me to make my designs. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to finish making my designs. I'll show you what I do at the end. But you can do any kind of designs that you'd like. So I'll see you soon. Okay, there we go. I'm back and I'm done. I used as many colors as I had. I wanted to make it very colorful. And I made all kinds of just kind of different patterns and shapes and different things. So I know many of you love drawing rainbows. I tried to get some rainbows in there. And unicorns I've seen lots of. So do whatever kind of design makes you feel good. So we've got this side decorated. I decorated it. And this side I thought would be nice and fancy. And would maybe reflect really nicely in the sun. So I'm going to leave um, this side, this color. Uh, now we need to fold our paper. So, um, I guess I'll fold it this way. I don't think it matters. So I'm going to go back and fold it again where I had the crease before. So we folded it one way, that way. Now we're opening it up and now we're going to go the opposite way. So we're going to pick the corner. So we're making triangle creases. You're not going to make the square into a rectangle. You're making creases to make two triangles. And then we've got one, two, three, four triangles in our big square. So uh, I'm going to choose this side because this side's too much pattern. So I'm going to show you where we're going to cut along our folded lines, but only halfway. So you're not going to cut all the way down to the middle. So, so that I don't forget, and maybe it's a good idea if you guys do this, I'm going to, hmm, I think halfway, maybe I'll go a little closer to the middle, but not too close. So if we're looking from the point in the middle to the edge, halfway is about here. So I'm going to move over about a finger space. So I'm going to make a dot there. I'm putting my finger so I can remember where halfway is. Halfway is about there. So I'm going to move over finger space. And again, you're going to do it for all the corners. And here and about there. So I put the dot so that I don't cut too far. So now you're going to use your scissors and you're going to carefully follow the fold line and cut down. So I'm cutting down to the dot and stop. I don't want to get to the middle. If you do that, you're going to have to tape it or you might have to start again, whatever you want. I stopped at my dot and following the fold line, cut number three, stopping at the dot and following my last fold line and stopping at the dot. There we go. Now I can put my scissors away. Uh, next, we are going to bend our points to the middle. So we're going to bend here and then we're going to use our next sheet and bend here. And they might have to over overlap just a tiny bit because we need to be able to put the push, push pin through all the pieces. So you're going to, when you overlap, you're not going to stop it right here at the corner. You're going to slide it in a little bit more. So we've got enough space to put our push pin in so that they can overlap. And then the next piece. And our last piece. So you can see what a cool design we made. So when you're bending them over, you're not pushing them down. We're keeping them nice and plump so that the air can catch in the folds. So we're fit. So I should say bend. I should say fold it over so that the wind can catch. Now, the reason I said we needed an eraser 
is we're going to carefully put our hand underneath, lift it up, put it on top of the eraser so we can put the pit put. Oh, Mrs. K is getting tongue twisted. Put our whoopsie daisy. That's okay. I'll pull it back down. We are going to put our push pin and if it doesn't go through all the pieces, that's okay. We just pull out the push pin and do it again. Put the push pin in through the middle and we've got the eraser on the other end so that it goes into something that is protected. So there we go. And now I can push it onto my dowel. You can push it into your pencil, into a piece of wood. Uh, maybe mommy and daddy have a nice long straw that they can push it into and you can put it out. Um, I'm sure mommy and daddy will be able to help you find something. You could even probably tape some pencils together and then you might leave this part for mommy and daddy to do. I'm going to put it on the table so that I don't hurt myself either so that if my dowel moves and wiggles on me I won't be push pinning right into my skin. And you're not going to push the pin all the way down. You're going to leave a bit of a gap. Okay. And this is K folded that. So hopefully if my fan blows this way again or I can just whoops you can't see. I was blowing it and it was working. Oops, I think I made it too big. There we go. So I've made a decoration. You might want to make a smaller square. I think Mrs. K's square was too big. That's okay. I can take it off my push pin and make it a little bit smaller. There we go. I hope you have fun. Thank you. That was the fan blowing it. It worked. Bye.